everyone uh welcome back to the channel in th this video will be a bit different from what we are doing it will not be a tutorial session so i recently did a small mini project which i wanted to show with you guys um you might find it interesting i guess so let's talk a little bit about the architecture I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll give you some some preface on what may, what led me to work on this project. So I saw somebody on LinkedIn uh, try to integrate their workflow with Azure pipelines to triage issue using uh, ChatGPT, which was re really good idea, like in ingenious idea, I guess. So and this this gave me some like this gave me an idea to in see if I could integrate it with Jira. Because, uh, as you know, a lot of DevOps and SRE, we, we, our work revolves around creating and managing issues using Jira, um, which gets kind of over, overhead. But so, yeah, so back to the point. Um, I wanted to see if I, we could integrate um, bug creation with ChatGPT and, and get some pointers on how to resolve this issue. And come to think of it, if, if, Things like this can, if we can do it, then then the life of person handling uh, the error would much would be much easier. Like if you know how to resolve the issue, it's great, right? So that's awesome. But if you don't know how to resolve a particular bug report, then um, if we then if there is some pointers given to you on how to resolve it, that makes your life much easier. Uh, like that was the initial aim for this uh, mini project. So. Let's talk a little bit about the architecture. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the uh, like crude architecture of the project. So what happens is whenever somebody creates a bug in Jira uh, or, or creates a bug report in Jira and each issue has a ID, ID like label in it, which is the, the project ID and the number you see like so you see something like this right project one two three or something like that this is the label and you get another unique ID which which is a new number like one two zero three one or one two one two zero three one or something like that so this is the ID unique ID of each each label so and and it has all the information but the only thing we need is the summary bit that we Right when creating the error or something like error could not pass the response body or something like that. Okay, so this is a simple simple error, but yeah, you get the gist, right? So whenever somebody creates a issue, a Jira ticket is created, and what I did was we integrated Jira with a webhook, and what this webhook does is uh, we have a webhook server running here. And the AI server also run here, but now let's treat it as a different entity. So web triggers a post, like whenever Jira issue of type bug is created, like type bug is created, then it sends a post request along with all the uh, issue um, metadata or, or all the issue information as part of the request body and sends a post request to the webhook server now when the request is received by the webhook server it parses all the information and filter out these values after this webhook server passes the issue it sends and it first validates a secret or webhook secret token like our webhook itself has a secret embedded into it so that it's much easier to validate the request coming from Jira, like just to validate whether the request coming in is in, sorry, whether the request coming in is from your own Jira cloud server and not the other one. Like it's a small, unique, uh, key, what do you call it? Key, key, uh, yeah. Now, well, after the secret is validated from our authentication service, uh, it's already running in the background. Webhook server then sends a post request to ask endpoint, which is which is the endpoint exposed by our AI service. Um, basically, this AI service is uh, 
is called Genie. Like I named it Genie to make it a bit fancy. But yeah, it is this Genie server or AI server. It communicates with ChatGPT and gets the response back using Open Open AI. So once the post request comes in to the AI server, AI server exposes slash ask endpoint. And what this does is, as part of the uh, post request, it sends the summary to the AI server asking how can I resolve this issue. So when the request comes in, we tweak the summary a little bit to make it much more readable so that our AI server and the ChatGPT server gets the get provides a bit appropriate response. And it sends the post request to AI server, which again requests our ChatGPT server to get some data. Now, once the data comes in, it sends the response back to the web, web server, which again calls Jira API endpoint to add comment into our uh, into the issue. So when the response comes in, our web server now sends the response back to our Jira cloud server and adds the suggestion sent by our chat GPT to as a resp as a comment of the Jira ticket. So this is the architecture that we are following right now. So let's look into the implementation. Uh, yeah, so I have my uh, web server or web web server, any server running here, and I'm exposing it to the internet using ngrow. So I've already configured my Jira to uh, with with the web configuration. So let me go ahead and create a Jira ticket. So I create a ticket with issue a bug and let me let me give some summary. The error was Next.js hydration error while running Next.js React app. Uh, while, while, right, yeah, I, I, I got this issue when I was trying to play around with Next.js and create a small React app. And I don't know what this issue meant. So the issue like this this is a really simple issue like which can which you can resolve within a quick using quick google but there might be some issues which were which you can't really find some information about and have to create a jira ticket so you created um uh, like we, we created a bug issue with bug type and and added a summary and we can add other information as well but for now i'll just leave it as it is and now if I create, a, like when I click create, you will see a response coming into our webhook. So if I click create here, uh, you can see the request uh, Jira webhook. Jira triggered, uh, like our web, Jira sent a request to our webhook server and got the response back as a 200. Now what happened when the request came in? As you can see, all the requests body coming in and the header, sorry, request and the header as well. And you can see it sent the, it sent the ticket ID here and also sent the summary here as well. And as I said earlier, I have tuned the um, summary a bit to make it much more understandable with proper gram grammar, like so this how to resolve this issue and this issue and in one paragraph. I don't want to write a lot of information. So once the request comes in and sent, uh, and once the request comes in, uh, it validates the secret and then sends request to the AI server to ask ChatGPT about the response. And as you can see, the response is two hundred, which means um, it it the the request was successful and it got the response back. So let's go ahead and open our issue. Now you can see here it automatically added a comment on how to resolve this issue. So as you can see to resolve this issue, the first step is, would be to verify the code of the application is not causing the hydration error. Once this is eliminated, next step would be to check whether the application is running the latest version of JX, blah, 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 all the stuff, right? Now you might think, oh, this is not like good enough information, right? Yes. Absolutely, it's like it is. This is this. I'm pretty sure this might not help, right, for this issue. But 
at least we get some pointers on how to resolve this issue, right? When when you have somebody in the support who, who, who like sees such issue which they have never ever encountered, this will be uh, really important. This will be really important for them as they can do like some level of initial troubleshooting to figure out what the issue is. So yeah, that was the main idea behind this uh, small project. Uh, I hope you liked it and let me know in the comment below uh, how we can make it much efficient, better. And also if you have any other idea on how to, how I can, I can um, enhance this project. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.